Um, the Ed Frater Show. Sorry. Uh, a lot of people may or may not know this. I'm a good friend with uh, Dan Deacon. I've known him for some years. Dan Deacon of Bromps. Um, yes. And oh god. Oh, what a show! What a show! What a show! Uh, okay, whatever it takes to get a laugh. Whatever cheap shots you got to go for to get a laugh these days. Uh, uh, hats off to that gentleman. Hats off. Okay. Now, um, I've known Dan Deacon for some time now. A uh, good guy. And he's putting out a new album. He's excited about it. So am I. And uh, the other I'm right here, Ed. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, here you go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Deacon here. He's uh, electronic. Uh, he was, uh, uh, according to uh, B Weekly, you're the freak wizard. Is that what it said? The rad, rad scientist. Uh, check out B, folks. They owe me $500. They keep forgetting to pay me. They, uh, they filed Chapter 11 a few weeks ago. Um, and they, they just keep, keep not paying me. Uh, we're going to Golden West doing dishes now. Tough times, recession. Um, Dan Deacon is uh, one of our sponsors. Uh, uh, I wasn't supposed to tell. Oh, that's right. Uh, you told me, somebody told me before the show not to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, th this is Dan Deacon, folks. Uh, he's an electronic, wi electronic magi not magician, uh, electronic musician. Um, and recently, he's putting out an album um, a few years, this time, this year, now. Right. And he wants, he, he told me to come over to the house, listen to this album. And I brought my camera along, because I always bring my camera where I go. And, uh, and we got, and, you know, I took pictures, and I'm going to show them to you now. And I call this a rumble in the Bronx, and uh, as read by Sir Connor Kaiser of Syracuse. Syracuse, yeah. You knew. Chitlin with Dan Deacon. <laughs> Rumble in the Bronx. You go. Rumble in the Bronx. Hey, Ed, I'm really excited. I'm putting out an album tomorrow, and, well, I think it's a good one. I'd like you to come over and listen to it. I have a special copy just for you. Wow, that sounds great, Dan. I'll be right over. I'm really excited to hear about it. Hey, man, glad you can make it. Pardon me for a second, Ed, while I finish eating the perfect sandwich. <laughs> it even smells good. Yeah, that's the stuff. This sandwich offers up a perfect storm of aroma, <laughs> begging the question, if every man had a sandwich, would any man care to raise arms to another man? Imagine such a world. Plato did. He died for his ideas. Well, I digress. I will now eat. <laughs> hey, Ed, get a load of these street kids. I'm, play <laughs> I'm paying to play my music for me. Five dollars a day means that they get to hang out with me. Dan Deacon! <laughs> my hands are the hands of a king. They shall do my bidding. God, I love life! Maybe I will be the title of my new uh, next album. So this is the ensemble. Give me a break. More like a couple of underpaid slaves. I wonder if Pitchfork has any idea what's really going on. Meet my, nourish, uh, my touring bassist. Well, he ain't playing bass today, Ed. Billy! Wash this floor while I read an article about myself. <laughs> Notice how I make the front page. Hey, you missed a spot. Oh, yeah, he doubles as a footrest. What a team player. Dan, I can't believe the way you're treating these guys. What are you doing? Playing with bubble wrap. My dream has come true. Man, I finally get a break from that tyrant. Ah, I'm enjoying this one drag at a time. I can't believe he made me wash the floor. The Craigslist ad said nothing about that. I can't wait until this recession is over. I've sunk to a whole new low. At least I got my little breaks. Sweet little moments in heaven. <laughs> Who the hell told you you could come out here? Back inside, little Fernani. It's punishment time. Because you continually choose to break the simple rules I have made, 
you can take your beloved grape soda and dump it down the drain. No way, man. I love this stuff. <laughs> this is definitely one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. I was really looking forward to drinking this tonight. He points to the sink like I'm stupid. Like I'm uh, a moment draped in flesh. <laughs> hey, Billy, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> that grape soda was supposed to be the crown jewel in an otherwise morbid day. You're such a piece of crap. With every drop you drain, I'm filled with God's sweet wine. Though bitter is your loss, I'm free of compassion's moss. Nietzsche was right. Oh, yes, he was. Kick the beggar where he lays! <laughs> Edward! I have always been of the opinion that it should be customary for friends to receive gifts by sitting on other friends' laps. Now, take a good damn, take a goddamn seat. Here's that CD I promised. <laughs> this is really weird. I have no idea what Dan's talking about. I bet he's high. Spider the Red, Spider Man of the Rings, eh? More like Spider Man of the Smoke Rings. What a psycho! Take another bore and get you, megalomaniac freak. Yet his lap has a strange allure. Dan, I shall join you in this bizarre orgy of emasculation. I will follow you to the depths of hell. We shall burn its brothers. Oh, sweet surrender. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. And let's go to an intermission. We'll be back in seven minutes. The Ladies and gentlemen, boom, 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 boom